when you want to call different contract you have two ways to call the first way we have is to call straight away by the name and the second way we have to call by the low level calls so let's have a look what i mean by that let's provide the general configuration and we have to provide the pragma solidity version in that we're going to create a contract we'll call it collie so this is the contract we're going to call into a different contract so let's define a variable we'll say unt public x and we have to take this unt public value so these are the two state variables we have now let's create a function we'll call it set x and that we're going to receive the x it would be public return and we want to return this unt inside that we're going to take this x and i'm going to update it to our state variable that's pretty simple and we're going to simply return the x that what we are exactly the value of the x so that's the simple function let's create another function we'll call it set x and send ether so we're going to take this unt x that what is the x we have and we're going to make it public and it will return the two data it will return the x and it will return the amount so let's do that we'll say x is equal to this the amount we are providing and it's going to be the value is going to be the message dot value and now we have to simply return x and y and close this function so this is the very first contract now we're going to create a second contract in that we're going to call these functions and we want to understand the ways we can call different contract so contract in that we're going to call it collie so because this is what it's going to call we come here we can create a function we'll call it set x and in that we're going to receive the address of the contract which we want to call so i'm going to call it collie and we're going to provide the address of that contract and we have to provide the amount untx call that untx is equal to we have to call the function we have set x and we have to pass that x value because that's need to be executed so we'll get the, our x value now let's create a second function we'll say function x form address so in that we're going to pass the address and we have to pass the x and we'll make it public and in that we're going to simply call it this we'll take the variable call it and we're going to simply call the contract address once we have that we're going to call this set x and you're going to pass the value of the x what that what is the x we have and we're going to call that function let's come here we're going to create another function we'll call it set x and send ether so we need the address because we want to access the different functions to call into this contract so we need the address of the contract and we need the amount so we'll make it public so we can transfer the ether and here we're going to call this x unt and the value and it's coming from this so message dot sender value and we have the x so we are deconstructing that and getting in here so that's the pretty thing pretty much you need to know about the calling different contract into another contract so these are the two contract we have written and now we're going to test this out that how we can call this contract into this contract and to access all the function which it declare so let's come here let's deploy let's deploy the contract so here you can see the first contract we have to deploy this callie deploy that one and here you can see we got deployed and here you can able to find the value of x and y which is currently empty now we're going to call the function this set x i will pass five and i will hit enter the same thing i have to do with this set x and send ether in that i'm going to simply open that one and in that i'm going to simply fire pass let's say five if i hit the transaction the logs let's have a look at the logs the transaction went successful if i click on this i'll five and if i call this i'll get zero because if i want to send the transaction i need to make it select the amount we want to transfer and then click on the transfer if i click the transfer the transaction went successful if i check the value we have this five ether in terms of way so this one is working fine now let's close this contract and now let's deploy the contract number caller and let's deploy that one the contract got deployed let's have a look in the console so this is all the function we have which we declare in here and now we can easily able to access so to access the function of these contract first thing we have to provide the address of the contract so in that i'm going to provide the address of this contract and now i can simply call it so if i paste that one and here i have to provide the amount which is a x if i call that i the transaction went successful so that looks fine if you want to do the same thing for the other one here you have to do the same thing if you want to send the ether you can provide this address you can send that five and you can select the amount which you want to transfer from here in terms of ether and you can make a request so if you make that the transaction went successful this looks fine if you want to do the same thing for the address you can do that simply pass that and you can pass the amount 
and you can simply do the transaction so everything's working fine no more error we have if you open the logs you can able to see all the data which you have provided okay so that's how you can call the different contract into another contract if you open that if you call this one you can see you will still have the same variable because there is no changes you're going to make in the contract b because you are trying to inherit that contract and you are getting the result in the in this contract and you can execute the function the way you want the data the way you want so hope this makes sense if you still have any confusion try to analyze the code that what is we had doing here how we are accessing this contract just try to analyze this one so hope this is making sense to all of you still have any confusion any doubt do leave in the comment section and that's the only thing i want to cover let's move to the next video